Okay, the purpose of this video is to debut my signature consist, which is now complete, that I plan on taking to our club's events and uh, train shows that we participate in. What we have here are two Suzy Q's. That is the New York, Susquehanna, and Western SD60s. The SD60s are upgraded uh, EMD GP40-2s. In the request of the railroads, they wanted a locomotive that had more power and a longer traveling distance. These locomotives were designed for long haul heavy freight. Uh, the cabs had been upgraded with special dampeners to, to make the ride smoother, uh, more comfortable seating for, for long haul travel, uh, upgraded electronics for the engine controls and braking systems. So these locomotives were basically set up for long haul, heavy haul. And you see what I have here set up? Our double stacks. Your double stacks are a unique innovation is that instead of the old style piggybacking a tractor trailer on a flatbed car, they decided to save the weight and why haul the trailer around when you can just detach the container and put it on a flat car. And then they discovered that if they uh, submerged the wells real close to the tracks that they had enough room to put two of them on top of each other and they'd still fit through the current trestles and tunnels that are on most of the North American railroads. And the reason I sought this setup was because this is the trains that I saw on a daily basis for 15 years while working for IBM in Endicott, New York. The New York, Susquehanna, and Westerns passed right through the middle of our main site. And for 15 years, either on second shift or third shift, first shift, when I was uh, outside indulging in my formerly nicotine-stained fingers, these trains would pass me about 50 feet away from the loading dock I was on at full throttle. It was quite impressive. So that's what I decided is going to be my signature consist. I wanted to recreate what I saw on a daily basis for some 15 years. The uh, first unit, road number 3804, has a Digitrax uh, sound decoder installed in it. And the helper unit, number 3802, has just a standard TCS decoder. Now, these decoders allow these trains to run digitally, and we can run multiple trains simultaneously on the same tracks at our club events. So let me demonstrate this new consist. Let's start it up.
Now I'm going to simulate a realistic stop. Stopping now. Stop recording.